Javi, can you hear us? Uh, we can hear you. Okay, great. We're about to start. And uh, everybody's here already? The media? For our variety. Oh, okay, go ahead and get started. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon. Of course, we, we want to uh, give as much information, as accurate information as we can regarding the, the Typhoon Noir, the storm. Um, storm is currently tracking towards Rhoda and Guam. So uh, at this point, you know, our concern is really uh, you know, uh, uh, Rhoda. Of course, we're concerned about Guam too, but uh, Rhoda is, is um, and and that is as of 1 p.m. And we have prepared typhoon condition two for Rhoda and tropical condition two for Saipan and Tinian. Uh, as you all know, you know FEMA is here. We're Brian uh, Beck uh, is here. Uh, we have been working with the National Weather Service, FEMA, and other federal entities to track uh, the storm's movement and speed, strength, and path. And so um, the storm is intensifying uh, as we speak. Uh, two hours ago, it was at 85 miles per hour, mm -hmm. but now it's at 100 miles per hour. So. That is a concern that we need to uh, continue to, to monitor, and we're you know we're very uh, thankful that the uh, National Weather Services is tracking that for for Guam and the CNMI, and, and we are in constant uh, communications with them. So we will be you know any major changes we will be uh, uh, giving that out to the media for dissemination to the public. We certainly appreciate uh, you disseminating this. Uh, I know that you have a public channel, uh, you have a breaking news channel, and Tomas, you're, you're, you know, you're always there and you can probably uh, get to your, your audience. So, um, we have begun mobilizing assets to include federal and local uh, resources to assist in preparation and recovery efforts. Uh, we heard from uh, different our different agencies in the briefing this morning at 10 o'clock. And uh, we, need, we need everybody to, to work together to prepare for the storm, including uh, uh, CUC, DPW, uh, transit, uh, Transit Authority, CACC, uh, PSS, uh, and the shelters uh, have pretty much been activated, both on Rhoda, Tinian, and Saipan. Uh, as you all know, Coda is uh, going to be providing transports also uh, to, the, uh, to the, the shelters. We are uh, specifically on Rhoda, we're very concerned because that's the closest of our islands that's gonna feel the impact. And so um, we have, uh, be began preparation, pre-disaster preparation to Rhoda. Uh, we'll send out representative, we'll be sending down representative I think this afternoon. Yes. Uh, from BFEMS, uh DECQ and CUC and uh, probably post uh, storm when uh, we can fly, we'll be sending a lot of uh, resources as well as uh, people to help in recovery. Uh, so we're, we're in constant communication with our Rota Mayor. Uh, FEMA uh, is here. And uh, we also have FEMA and Guam in communication and preparing uh, 
to make the, the necessary uh, movement of assets to Rhoda after the storm. Uh, we, we are, uh, we've spoken to the mayor of Rhoda to discuss the, the preparations needs of the community. And we are, again, also in close communication with FEMA in Guam and on Saipan and uh, the Joan Region Marianas. Uh, uh, they, are, they, have, they have reached out uh, and have asked what the needs are. So, uh, you know, Rhoda is the one that's going, the, the island is going to uh, experience the brunt of this storm as, as we know. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> as you all know, we've uh, made the state of emergency declaration already, and we've submitted a request to, formal request to the president, President Biden, to declare a pre-landfall disaster declaration for the Commonwealth. And that would assist in, in um, uh, FEMA, it will enable FEMA and DOD to assist in preparations, uh, pre landfall of preparations uh, uh, for the Commonwealth. So we, we, we hope uh, to hear back from the White House in, in the next 24 hours. Uh, let me ask uh, Mr. Babalta. Uh, special Assistant Babalta to fill in the gaps and the specifics of the storm. And uh, just before that, the audience is asking if we can just speak a little louder for them to hear. Okay, thanks. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the typhoon warning is in uh, effect for Guam and Rhoda right now. Uh, we are in for Tinian and Saipan, we are in a typhoon watch. So uh, that means that um, we're not out of the danger or the risk for this. Things can, can change uh, directions. That's why we are really uh, preparing for this. Uh, although it's, it's directly showing where the path is going, there is a possibility we might get effect from the wind or the within, we're still within the bubble of the, uh, the, 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 the wind. Uh, strength. So at that time, uh, we will not uh, release anything until we really get more information as it gets closer, uh, when then we will update uh, the, the information out. But we are still within the, the same area uh, where the storm is passing through, so we are always watching um, what indications or might move to uh, different locations. But yeah, we are uh, constantly in communications with the National Weather Services out of Guam. Uh, the Joint Region Marianas out of Guam are also having their, their briefs, and we listen to those uh, briefs as far as uh, what actions and activities that are happening in the Mariana Islands to include Guam, and we're also briefing what actions and activities we're doing in the Sinomai. So they're both we're both in communications with the uh, support to in each other in case something should come up. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. No. No. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say something? Or? Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Okay. That's basically what it is. And you know, the, like um, the um, governor just mentioned that uh, in two hours we have seen the strength of the uh, <coughs> wind just elevated so we were at 80 miles per hour and and joy just came in and gave us the uh, latest information on in the bulletin that it is now up to 100 miles per hour so that's why we are we are really monitoring the uh the strength of this uh storm that is approaching the mariana islands and yeah. can we just get a clarification and on what rhoda's exact needs are we got a chance to speak with the Rota Mayor Aubrey Holcock yesterday, and yesterday she said they're still waiting on the generator for the hospital. So in addition to that, what's the update on that generator, and what are other specific needs that you're addressing from here? With the uh, generator, um, we have the generator here on Saipan. With the capability now to move the generator is our challenge. 
um, most of the uh, movement right now through surface movement through the to roll the channel uh, through the water can be very challenging right now so it depends on the vendor that is going to move this uh, based on the weather situation uh, as of this time it's a big generator we cannot just you know take it and put it in the aircraft and, and bring it down so we're looking at mostly uh, through surface level so we have it um, and when we are ready and the vendors are ready then we will ship it down uh, we're going both ways also. We have also asked uh, our DOD partner through FEMA requesting through DOD to assist us also in what areas they can assist us uh, to move this generator down. To, uh, All right. So um, the Homeland Security uh, uh, office uh, in Rota has a smaller generator that they're going to transfer down to the hospital, that's the critical uh, 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 facility. So we're gonna transfer that uh, temporarily until we can get the bigger one. And then I, I believe that CHCC will be sending by air uh, some smaller generators for the, for the hospital itself. Yeah, we're, we're working on that. We're, there are, of course, uh, other uh, needs that, uh, that uh, the mayor's office and, and the Rota Homeland Security uh, is, is putting together a list and, and uh, we're, we, will, we will source those out and whether it's gonna come from Guam or come from Saipan, uh, we will, we will make every effort to get those resources down there. And Mr. Uh, just one last question before passing it on to FEMA. Mr. Beck, I believe, um, last we spoke, you said a team was coming. Uh, I believe some of them have arrived. Can you just give us an update on who's here, what they're doing, and uh, an update from FEMA? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Happy to do that. So um, at the governor's request, we have sort of the lean forward. Uh, it mobilized a lot of different federal resources. And we are currently staging them mostly on Guam right now in anticipation of having to come up with CNMI later, um, depending on how this all shakes out, of course. Uh, but we have set up 12 uh, independent um, emergency support functions, is what we call them, um, to basically address different lifelines, things like critical infrastructure, uh, mass care, uh, feeding, things along those lines. So those people are already in place, more are still coming this evening, more even still tomorrow morning here. The full weight of the federal family is, is behind you, and especially in, in, to our friends on, on Rota right now. Um, we have a keen eye in making sure that everybody comes to safety. Uh, speaking of FEMA, what is the, could you clarify what the pre man <coughs> uh, I don't know. Sure. What, you know, yeah, I'll clarify what that, what that means, and then why does Rota need it? Yeah, happy to answer that. So um, basically, at, at Governor Palacios's request, uh, we have submitted a request for what we call a pre-landfall emergency declaration. This will authorize direct federal assistance to come in, um, if approved by the President, of course, uh, President Biden, um, allow us to mobilize resources um, and assist and support the CNMI and Guam as well uh, without any cost to either of these islands. Um, this, is, uh, this is a preemptive step prior to a full-blown disaster declaration. Um, excuse me. So that's where we kind of stand right now. We're going to wait to hear back from that um, as that moves through FEMA headquarters and also the president's office. And uh, like Governor said, we expect to hear back pretty shortly on that. Uh, but the, the resources and uh, commodities are already staged and already in place right now. S.A. Robata, can you tell us um, which direction the winds are looking to go, to, uh, to go with here on the island of Saipan, Tinian and Rota? Uh, and when we, we can expect heavy rains as well? We based ourselves everything on the National Weather Service that provides us, and that's what we are using also to track the, the same thing. And it is uh, available uh, for anyone to, to see. I can't tell you uh, when it's gonna move or where it's moving, other than those guys are the uh, subject matter experts uh, telling us. 
and we just uh, we go with what uh, they're giving us the directions. And what we're doing is just doing the preparations on the site for to, uh, for the landfall. But uh, other than that, I can't tell you the directions where if it's going to go left or right, you know. But the current path is is there in the uh, uh, National Weather uh, Service uh, website. And they have provided us those websites, and we also have it in our EOC uh, websites. So um, anybody who is interested to, to look into that can ser uh, search for those websites and see uh, the weather that is there. So in general, Sally, uh, without, you know, uh, I think uh, uh, the, uh, the Homeland Security Head um, is, is, is active in that. The specifics are in those websites, and I think they activated it in your Facebook page, yes. uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, already. Uh, but the general area is it's going to be between Rhoda and Guam. That's basically how it's tracking. Now, like like they said, we still tropical condition watch. watch. You know, in case that 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 storm veers off. Uh, changes direction north that's going to impact the Commonwealth, particularly Saipan and Kino, a lot more. But right now, the general direction is going to it's going to pass between Rhoda and Rhoda. So that's why we're we're preparing uh, a lot of our, the resources to to help with Rhoda because you know the the challenges, especially with the the transportation system. Uh, surface uh, surface transportation is going to be very restricted and limited to road as you all know you know road has a very narrow uh, core the channel is very narrow so um, you know, we, we, we need to figure out how to send uh, assets down and resources down and, and post storm. I believe the, uh, we've asked the Department of Defense uh, for their assistance and they're standing by. Can you tell us how many we're looking, or how many, <coughs> excuse me, emergency personnel we're looking to deploy in Rota and we'll, how are the earliest that they'll be there? That also uh, depends on the uh, information that we receive from, that we will be receiving. So um, right now we're just gonna send our assessment team to be there to assist in any of uh, the, the agencies that will, will be uh, involved in this, uh, monitoring it. And as soon as we get their information of how many, uh, you know, what's going on, that's when after we will be responding to the, the situations that we have to request that we have planned for to do any other uh, medical, medical evacuations if something happened and they do inform us, uh, we have prepared or informed the other uh, DOD capability to assist us because we don't have that capability and they have acknowledged and, and we are part of their um, plan should that we request for any medical evacuation from the island. And who exactly are you talking to at DOD? Is that Joint Region Marianas? Yes. Can you give a name and agency department? Who are you Joint talking Region to? Joint Region Marianas, you know, Harry Elliott is usually the, the liaison, the person, the key person is. Uh, uh, assisting in, in, in this, right? He's been uh, appointed. Yes, sir. Yeah. And a joint uh, region Marana's to uh, help this you know, civilian government. Uh, but you know, I, 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 I let me emphasize that the government is uh, cinema. Your cinema government is is preparing this. We're 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 very uh, focused right now on Rota because that's where the path. Of this storm is, and and you know it, it, it's the difficulty of transporting things to Rota. So we're we're prepared to activate immediately uh, after the storm when we can, and with the assistance of FEMA, the assistance of uh, Department of Defense and ZRIM. So uh, we're, again, we're in, we're in touch with uh, we're in communication with. Uh, Mayor Hokup uh, on Rhoda. And we, in fact, we had a discussion about 
an hour, hour and a half ago. And then she's with her team, she's also doing the groundwork to get us information. Um, we've also been uh, in contact with uh, Department of Interior, OIA office of Reed Stout, and uh, even the White House, staff from the White House of Reed Stout to, to uh, offer assistance. So we, we're going to be putting together the package that we need uh, either through FEMA or through uh, Interior. And, and also we are in um, communication with uh, the mayor of Tinian. Mm -hmm. So he is also uh, in the briefs with us. Uh, we constantly, uh, we're constantly in communications with them too, uh, to ensure that we are also, uh, you know, part of <coughs> the, the, all the meetings that we, we go through. We are uh, synchronizing our meetings with Rhoda, Tinian, and Saipan. So uh, that's what we do to make sure that all three islands are uh, in, involved with the communications of these activities that we're putting up together for the, the storm. So they all know that our focus right now is where uh, the, the wind is going. So they are also prepared to assist if should they come up and assist in any way they want or they can. We'll take a couple more questions before our teams uh, head to other meetings and other responsibilities. Yeah, sure. I just want to say uh, to our people of Rhode Island and Saipan to please prepare yourself. Don't take this uh, storm for granted. And, uh, you know, you get today, tomorrow, uh, daytime before the storm reaches uh, Rhode to get ready, prepare for it. Uh, you know, we'll never know what's going to happen. Ready. One more question? Well, I mean, in, in line with that, 100 mile per hour wind, what can that do to a house? If you want to just take us through what that might look like. A 100 mile per hour wind, what, what can that do to a house? Just just while we're talking with the public about being ready, I mean, like, right. what, what can the 100 mile per hour? Being ready, prepare your, you know, cover your house. Uh, Move to the shelter if uh, or you, you know that your house is not secure. You know, you gotta take cover and protect yourself and your family. Thank you. Any, um, are the courts still open? Um, and also, will government still uh, have work yeah, tomorrow? I believe the airports are still open. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Rhoda Seaport, the Saipan Airport, I, I believe it's still open. Uh, it's 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 just the the Rota port is a very tricky port. The channel is very tricky, so uh, you know the uh, the window of opportunity to ship uh, heavy equipment uh, needs to go surface uh, is closing pretty fast on us. I hope by I think tonight uh, the water the waves. Uh, it's probably gonna close down naturally, close down the, the channel. Uh, so. Yeah, and I, I know you're uh, doing your best right now, uh, and you're just recently confirmed to your position. But how could we have not planned planned it better to have the transportation ready for a situation exactly like this? Uh, yeah, can you just address that? Some people might be wondering how could we have not been prepared to transport things we know that the island is lacking in the first place? Well, there were you know, um, plans from before going throughout this. We've been uh, trying to set up our uh, teams together to be prepared for a storm that should come our way. So we've been doing our, our what we can do, like our capability reefs and working with the other agencies and what your roles are and what you know, you put your part in during a disaster. Uh, we gone gone to like maybe three uh, uh, like briefs with with that with the uh, our cinema government. So it kind of pre prepared us a little bit with this. With this one, I think we have several meetings for this already. So uh, we have elevated our preparation phase. 
where we went through maybe three or four meetings already for this, which is uh, we have to involve all the other agencies to speak on what their roles are, what they should be doing. So this is building up their confidence to uh, be prepared for this. Uh, and that's the thing that counts during this uh, disaster, um, that you are more prepared for it. You got more information on what to do. And this builds up your your um, confidence on what you're gonna do and what your capabilities are. Uh, we have opened the shelter, for example, in advance for this. Should that this thing change their directions and come our way, we are more prepared for it. Although we have some control measures too within uh, our areas that we just don't want it to go through. Like everybody is in a blanket uh, um, to all play around with what we have planned. It's only for specific uh, areas that we're planning right now. So we're specifically spa uh, uh, spacing it out or indicating it what our specifics and what our general uh, plans are. So we're specific specifying it. Like for example, our concerns right now, focus is gonna be on Loda. So whatever we do here for the CMI, we're not gonna do it here yet on Saipan until a certain time we, we activate it here on Saipan. Uh, and then that's when we let it go for this to be utilized or for them to start opening up, opening up their emergency package, you know. The first package right now is to uh, send down, uh, be prepared for the rota since we're all seeing the directions that it's going. Um, just to like follow up on his question, I know we've been having meetings like over the weekend, so that was like how many meetings from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. How come we didn't mobilize these these things sooner, especially knowing that we had all this time and then now the channel's gonna close tonight. How come we didn't mobilize it well, sooner? Well, you know, uh, this storm really didn't form until like Friday. yesterday morning or Friday. So it didn't, you know, we were monitoring it uh, and trying to make, make a decision based on North, the National Weather Service's uh, information and uh, trying to make sure that we place assets at the right area at the right time. Uh, uh, and, and like we said, you know, of course, had we known that this was going to be Rota-centric, we would have moved a lot of stuff uh, earlier, but uh, we just recently found out in this today that that uh, the storm, the general direction of the storm is is looking at like it's going to pass south of Ro uh, Guam and north of, or south of Rota and north of Guam. Uh, uh, two, yesterday we were looking at it's going to impact the whole CNMI, uh, Rota, Tinian, and Saipan. That that was the, the pattern. Just this morning it kind of shifted. So uh, if the initial uh, pattern and uh, was going to go towards maintain its 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 direction. We needed to have all the assets on all three islands. Now that we know it's going to most likely be very impactful in Rota, you know, we, we we have to source those assets from Saipan and even some of the assets from Tinian and ask for everybody's assistance to, to focus on the island world. That thing also, uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Bavalta said, in less than two hours right now, the, 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 the intensification of the storm has increased. Uh, so, you know, we, we're dealing with a, a potentially uh, winds of up, sustained winds of up over 100 miles an hour. So, I think, I think we will be uh, as prepared as we can be and uh, with the assistance of FEMA and, and Homeland Security, our staffs here and all the different departments uh, and the Department of Defense, I think right after the storm we would be in a position to mobilize immediately to be there. Thank you so much. I also thank you, uh, members of the media.